Hi, in this demo, I will introduce three important and must-do steps before doing a bank up with Vinching Bank Up and Recovery. Now, let's begin the demo. Step 1. Get your Vinching Bank Up server licensed. First, enter the IP address of your Vinching Bank Up server to access the Vinching Web Console. Default login username, admin, password 123456. Once you successfully log in to the web console, go to the system, system license. You can see the license info details. If you have already received the license email from support at venching.com, you can click upload license to upload your license. If you did not get the license email, click the download thumbprint button to get the thumbprint file. Then send this file to support at venching.com. You will receive an email from Venching with the trial license attached. Then you can click the Upload License button to upload your trial license. Step 2. Register your virtual infrastructure to Venching. When you finish Step 1, then you should register your virtual infrastructure in the Venching Backup server. Go to Resources, Virtual Infrastructure. You can see the virtual infrastructure list details. Click Add. The virtual infrastructure adding page will show up. Firstly, select your virtual platform type. Venching Backup and Recovery supports VM vSphere, Citrix Zen Server, Red Hat RHV and Over, OpenStack, Sanford HCI, InCloud Sphere, Huawei Fusion Compute, XAPNG, and Oracle Linux Virtualization Manager. Please note that only VM vSphere and Huawei Fusion Compute requires no installation of the BankApp plugin. If you are using any other virtual platform, please install the corresponding BankApp plugin on each target physical host which you want to protect. For more operation details, please watch the video of how to install BankApp plugin. In this demo, I will select the VM vSphere platform as an example. Then enter the IP address or domain of your ESXi vCenter or vSAN. Username and password to access your ESXi vCenter or vSAN. Since different virtual platforms have different management methods, there are some details you should notice when adding your virtual infrastructure. For more details about adding other virtual platforms, please see the user guide on the Benching website. Then, added a name for this newly added virtual infrastructure and click OK. The newly added virtual platform is in the virtual infrastructure list. At this moment, you still cannot do any backup because you haven't authorized your target hosts yet. If you do a backup job now, you will fail at the first backup step, with all your target VMs are in unauthorized status. What you need to do now is clicking off on the left button to authorize target hosts you need to protect under your virtual platform. Choose target host and click authorize. All the VMs in that host are authorized and you can bank up them. To keep your virtual infrastructure synchronizing with Vinching Backup Server, you can set a synchronizing time via auto-refresh virtual infrastructure every minute on the top right of the virtual infrastructure list. In case that you created a new VM in your virtual platform and you want to backup it but not yet seeing it here in Vinching Backup Server, you can manually click Sync to synchronize your virtual infrastructure. Step 3. Add a backup storage. The last step before starting backup is that by adding backup storage. Go to the resources, storage, then click add. You can see the storage settings details. Venging Backup and Recovery supports multiple types of storage as backup repository, including partition, local disk, local directory, LVM, fiber channel, iSCSI, NFS, CIFS, Offset storage and cloud storage. Here I'll select the partition as a demo example storage. If you have any problems with how to add other storage types, please watch the video of how to add storage. Choose a backup node from the node IP address or domain where you want to mount your storage. 
If there is more than one backup node in your virtual environment, choose one of them to mount your target storage. To differentiate disks, you can also rename the disk here. Then as the storage object, you can choose to use this storage for restoring backup data, copy data, or archive data. Please make sure the specified storage type is the one your production system actually is using. You can also choose whether to turn on the storage alert. If you turn on the storage alert, you should set up a critical value of storage so that when your backup storage is insufficient, the system will alert and send you an email notification. Here are two modes you can set up, percentage and size. When the storage free space is less than the preset value, the system will alert. When everything's done, click OK. A window notice will come out. Since for the block storage partition, disk, LVM, fiber channel, iSCSI, you have options to import the backup data or to format the storage. Here we would like to recommend importing the backup data and then add it to Vinching Backup Server. Otherwise, if you choose to format, Vinching Backup Server will erase all data on the block storage and then add it as a fresh new storage device. Then click OK. After adding storage completed, you can see the newly added storage in the storage list. Once the three steps are done, you can do a backup for target VMs with Vinching Backup and Recovery.